All right, so on this house, we have two systems. Uh, you see the one here, there was one there. I already removed that completely. So today we are swapping out that system and we're also gonna be swapping out this one at a later date, probably in a couple weeks. Both condensers are gonna be put on the ground down here on this new pad. So should be nice. We've got um, speedy channel all the way up to the third floor. What we're gonna be doing is extending it. As you can see the end right there. So this guy's right here. This is the reason why you don't wanna just leave an open line hide like this, the, the speedy channel. You wanna put an end duct or a little end cap on it because what can happen, it slides down because there's nothing holding it at the bottom. So anyway, we're gonna be extending it down, coming down the wall, uh, down to the new condensers right here. I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. This video is sponsored by RLS, original, patented, proven, and by Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. So this is just nitrogen. I came here, this system was completely flat on gas. I pumped it up to like 400 PSI of nitrogen to find the leaks. Um, so I don't have to recover anything, I just let it out. Check all connections, any braze joints if they did any. Hopefully, we can find them all. If that's just water that got in there to corrode everything like that, or what? Well, so far, so good. No kinks. Yeah, so this is what I was worried about right here. So we'll cut all this out back to here. So what I'm thinking here on this four inch speedy channel that they already have where it ends right there, looks like if I come straight down, it's going to hit the box. So I need to offset it. So I was thinking about using 245s like this. That way I can continue it all the way down. I usually like to run the, um, the line hide just below the top of the unit so that way you can't see any piping from above the unit. It comes down and then it stops. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking about doing to continue that four inch. But these, I was thinking of doing six inch. And this is, a, this is just a wall penetration. So it goes like this and it helps cover your penetration. So I was thinking about having two of them. The problem is these are so close together maybe what I could do is cut this lip off and then we can have two of them. I'm sure yeah, I got two of them. Basically cut this lip off to where these would be side by side like this. And I think that's going to work. And at that point I can run six inch down, maybe two or three feet and it'll clean all this up. So it's a good plan. All right, so we are now in the process of connecting refrigerant lines. 
at least we're ready for it. Uh, before we do that though, I want to clean the lines out from the inside to outside, just to make sure there's no residual oil or any kind of contaminants or anything in the lines whatsoever. So that way it's prepped and ready for the new system. Uh, and the way we do that is with the Hillmore pipe cleaning kit. Uh, basically this comes with all the different sizes. Uh, for instance, we're gonna be connecting this half inch to the 18K high wall. Basically it connects to the copper line. This connects to the gun like so. And then we will basically use nitrogen, connect it to it. And we're gonna blow these little plugs through the line from the inside all the way out. And it's basically gonna wipe it clean. So we'll do that on all four zones and should be good to go. All right, so we just blew one plug through the half inch line and look at all of this oil that was in there. That is the reason why we do this. So we're gonna blow one more through just to make sure it's nice and clean. if they're gonna actually fit. That's kind of thinking. I think that's gonna work. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is we'll just cut this off and I'm gonna press on a 90. That way it can shoot down and go to the other condenser. I've got it pulled out as far as I can. I'll press this and then I can push it back to get it closer to the wall so that it'll be within the, the speed channel. So I think that's gonna work out nicely. So what's cool about the six inch speedy channel is that there is no back or front. They're basically identical. So you can use, uh, technically you can only get one stick, two sticks, whatever you need. But let's say you have some uh, spare pieces left over um, and you needed, say you only had this, but you only needed you know, a 12 inch piece where you could just cut this in half. This becomes the front, this becomes the back. Anyway, I think that's pretty cool that it's designed that way to where um, it just gives you a little bit more flexibility when you're in the field. All the copper and stuff, and close the window, or we can you know, do everything. Looks good. But of course, we'll take these back off. Uh, when we're actually done, seal that penetration up with some foam and then reapply these and get them all siliconed up. But for now, it looks good. So I'm gonna install a, uh, what they call a duct end on the six inch line that's gonna go to the other system that we're gonna be installing in, in about a week or so. Um, but what I like to do before installing on the wall is go ahead and put it together and then mark how big the opening I need to cut this for you know whatever the application is go ahead and cut it so that way it's nice and square to one another and then you can take it apart and install it and it'll look pretty good so anyway that, that's the way i got it um we got to run a three-quarter line with insulation and everything so i'm going to open this up just a little bit more
especially when you're working off a ladder, you need to be able to like hook it on your on your belt or something. 